What is going on guys, Will Mix Random Videos back another video, and today I'm showing y'all how you can turn this, that's like not very good image, into this. Yes. Yeah, this is the lighting setup, fully assembled. So you can probably barely see me right now, but the first thing I did was I turned off the main overhead light and I turned off the light that was on top of my camera. So I'm going to just start as a blank slate. I do have my RGB lights on basically because I'm too lazy to turn them off, but... So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this light, which... The light I'm using, I also connected a microphone to that's connected to my computer. And I'm going to sync up the audio until I get a microphone for the camera. But I turned on this... Um, DeWalt 20 volt max light, and let's see. Oh, you probably can't. So I turned on that, and instantly that's lighting my face good. So now I'm gonna turn on um another, or I'm gonna turn on some lights to create a bokeh effect. I think that's the right word. Bokeh. I don't know. So. So now, if I'm properly in focus, those should look really good, and, like, they should be sort of, like, lit up a little bit. And then, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on my lava lamp to add in a bit more color. Alright, All right, so now that I did that, the scene's already coming together, but I have a big shadow back there. You may be able to see it, I don't know. I can't see, actually see it because I don't have an external camera, camera monitor. I don't know why I struggled so much saying camera. Um, so I'm going to turn on this lamp that's sort of out of frame a little bit. And now it's casting a nice glow. And so it looks pretty good, I'd say at least. I'm also going to add a rim light, which I don't have currently set up right now, so I'm going to set that up real quick. It's about done, except back there, in my opinion, is looking a little bit dark, so I'm going to find a solution for that real quick. And yeah, let me, let me do that. And also, I need to clean up this area back here. So now that we've completed this little lighting setup, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. So I'm going to pull out the GoPro. Alright, so we're on the GoPro. Sorry if it looks a little bit grainy. But you see, this is what I was looking at the entire time. Was got the camera. It, was like, it had this as a reflector, which is what the clamp and stuff's for, is to hold that big piece of styrofoam on. I had another piece, but I just might stepped on it. And then this microphone is hooked into my PC, which is, I'm using Audacity to install stuff. And then this is a little rim light. I can't, I couldn't really tell how much it was actually doing on camera because, as you can see, I don't have a flip out screen, but that that will come eventually. But then you got the things to generate a bokeh effect or bokeh. I don't know the word. All right. And then have this light back here to sort of light up the area. And then this is the Ikea lamp. I have this sitting on like my old ring light stand that, because the ring light broke on it. I just have it sitting up at like max height with the clamp, or almost max height, I mean, with the clamp. And then I've got TV trays holding stuff up. I have to put a bunch of weight on this one because of the microphone. It's not exactly too light of a microphone, but then this one is holding the actual light itself with the got game disc holding it up because yeah but yeah that's how I lit up this video 
back to the camera setup. So that was the lighting setup. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I explain how to do stuff with like different YouTube things. And yeah, like, subscribe, and goodbye.